ESP32s are very popular today and extremely cheap. You can have great fun with these. Go online, there's thousands of different projects you can do with these. There's some amazing things. They're easy to program, easy to get running. A majority of them come with Bluetooth and Wi Fi. That one there's got a chip antenna. That one there's got an embedded antenna. Got a circuit board created when the um, board was manufactured. This one's got the option of an external antenna. Well, that's the only option actually. And this one here as well. This is a ESP32 CYD, also known as cheap yellow display. There's a wicked value for money. What I'm going to do is show you how to drastically improve the performance of the Wi Fi and Bluetooth by adding an external antenna to one that hasn't got the option. Like these. I like that one. Anyone can do this. A very easy mod to do. And it will drastically improve the performance of the Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Just a quick video, folks. Here we've got two HSP 32s. These are also known as cheap yellow displays. HSP 32s with built in 2.8 inch screens, touch screens, and these are very cheap. You put these up for about £10, $30, $40. Right, good value if you ask me. What they are. I'll just plug these in and I'll show you the difference between an external antenna and one that's got a built in embedded antenna. You see there, that's the back of it. You ain't going to see much. So you see what the difference is in performance? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Sniffers. Sniffers. There we go. The left one, as you can see, is already picking up loads more. So that's the difference between an external antenna and a built-in PCB antenna as you can see. What we'll do, I'll show you how to fit one of these. Some of them have got these small RF connectors but a lot of them haven't. So I'll show you how to modify and use one of these. And we'll try some direct antennas. These are quarter wave antennas these are. That's a full wave, half wave, quarter wave. Should we see what, what works the best? Come on then, as you can see there, what a difference. This ESP32 CYD is identical to the other one I've got in this video, apart from obviously it's got an external antenna. It's almost got the it's got it has it has got the IPX connector there, look. Play at the back. So it has got the option. You just remove an um, zero home resistor and then you use the external antenna. So basically I'm showing you how to modify an ESP32 that hasn't got such connector. This ESP32 has not got an optional IPX RF connector for an external antenna. So it's only using the onboard. So in this video I'm going to show you how to modify one of these. A lot of ESP32 boards haven't got um, an IPX small RF connector for an external antenna but in this video I'll show you how you can fix that and use an external antenna and basically just disconnect this internal internal antenna um, here's an ESP32 with a small connector here look you see it they're very small and delicate they're easily to damage But don't let that stop you using the external antenna for better performance. So in this video I'm going to show you how to connect one. So yeah, should we carry on with the video? Well, this is the ESP32, so why do? That's where all the stuff happens. To the left out. I hope you can just see it. That's the built in antenna. You can just see, can't you? Just see the pattern of it. Look, going round here. 
what we'll do, we'll scrape off this coating and you'll see it a bit better. There we go. You can completely see the antenna now. This one here at the bottom, that is the RF output. The one just above it here is the ground. So we've got to split them. We've got to disconnect them from the man antenna. Split these and connect them up. Easy. So what I'll do, I'll just use this blade. Splice it there. As you can see now, we've disconnected the man antenna. Let's just confirm that. Yep. You go, just splice it out. You can see now we've disconnected the main antenna here. But, like I say, top one's the RF output, bottom one's the ground that connected. So, we need to split them just there. There we go, you can see that. Split just there. Perfect. I have to get it the wrong way around actually. So the top one's the ground. Yeah. Top one's ground, bottom one's RF. Output. So we know where to connect some now, don't we? Okay. Oh, this is the RF picked out. The connector we don't need, do we? We haven't got one of these connectors on the on the back on the board so we'll get rid of that shall we? Cut it about here. Let's just strip the cable, ready for soldering. Lovely. Just pull back the RF shield in or the outer. Like that. I'll solder that to a blob. Just to strip the inner cable now. And this is very thin, so you've got to be very careful because you can easily just cut it. Yep, I'll do it. Lovely job, play. You've also seen a lot more videos. Do always use flux when soldering. Got to make a difference. Okay, let's just drop a bit of solder on, shall we? Don't need much. There we go. Lovely. Just drop a bit of flux this side as well. I think this flux bed is a bit dry. I think I've left it open. But that should do fine. That's a bit of solder. Right. Okay, should we get the um, pigtail connected now to the board? Something like this, you can do this how you like. That's the ground on. Tell you what, this is um, quite awkward to do when you're um, working over a camcorder. Try to hold everything in place. Oh, I think that might have got it. Yep, that's the RF output, input connected. There we go folks, the RF connected out is all wired in. There you go. There's a brand. Should we connect the tether now and try it? Okay folks. Should we test them? As you can see, left one's got the option for an external antenna. Right one is the one I've just modified. Should power them up, shall we? Okay, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Sniffers.
Oh my oh god the right one's doing better. Wow. That's weird. That's picking up way more. Oh yes. Yeah. Just shows you how good this mod is done it, eh? <laughs> wow. Look at them results. It's almost going off the screen. Wow. We'll leave it a minute or two and we'll come back to see what they detect. I left it a minute or so folks and as you can see they've both gone off the screen so I'd say that mod is performing extremely well. What we'll do now we'll see if just put in some straight antennas and these are I think these are quarter wave dipoles. Right one's quarter wave, middle one half wave and the left one is a full wave antenna. My solder is direct to the RF output and see if they perform as good as one of these that you can buy for about a pound. As you can see that, stripped and soldered these so they're ready to solder directly to the board. Okay, first one to solder on and try is a quarter wave. I think it's 29 millimeters. You get all the calculators on right. There we go. Do you need to go and buy an antenna and pick down to have a performance as good as one with an external antenna option? Or can you just stick a bit of wire on? That's a quarter wave antenna directly going to RF output. Earth not connected, obviously. Do you see how this performs? Just turn that on. Wi Fi. Wrong one. Oh, it's quite hard to get this right. There we go. No, I was picking up a few, I'll say that, for a bit of wire, picking up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, definitely outperforming the internal antenna, 13, I'll leave that a minute and come back, well that surprised me, for a bit of wire, Quarter wave, it's picked up 15. Wow. Still not as good as one on the left, but 15 is very good. We'll try half wave next. Half wave and 10 and out. Bit slow picking them up, isn't it? It's detected them now, they're, they're coming through. I'll come back in a minute or so because it does take a while to do the scan over and over. Okay, I've left that a minute or two. What we detected with R5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is about as good as an internal. Do better than that. Let's try the full wave next. Okay, we've got the full wave now. Let's try that, shall we? Now, the R5 weren't very good, was it? A quarter wave is really good. Got a piece of wire. There we are. That's picking up a few. That's definitely doing better than the last one. All right, we'll give it a couple of minutes to come back. All right, we'll give it a couple of minutes. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not very good, really, is it? You think bigger the antenna, the more it detects. Well, that's not the case. It's a black magic. It is RF. So you can see the one on the left with the quarter wave is definitely performing better. Let's just put the quarter wave back on there just to confirm it. Well, I've got the quarter wave back on there. Uh, 
you can see how quick it's picking them up that's going to do better again we'll come back in a minute or two oh well, surprise surprise it's gone off the board with this software I'm testing you can't actually sc scroll up and down so I can't really count them now but they've both gone off the board it just shows you that quarter wave they have performed well performs as well as that one I right. hope you enjoyed that video folks just shows you how you can actually modify the, in the internal antennas of one of these ESP32s but a simple mod like that does the job I think that's 29mm that, that bit of wire Great that is, isn't it? Like and subscribe. I do try my best with these, but I do work full time and I'm I'm not an RF expert, I just like messing about with electronics. See you soon.